years ago today. A little TV series titled Charlie's Angels premiered here on ABC starring Farrah Fawcett, Kate Jackson and Jacqueline Smith. The series was an overnight success and made huge stars of the trio, although there were a few changes on the cast along the way, but no one knows more about the Angels than Mike Pingle, who worked with Farrah Fawcett, wrote two books, and has one of the largest Charlie's Angels collections in the world. Wow, that is awesome. And George Pinocchio is looking back on 40 years of history with them right now. George. Well, I guess you should know that this is just a tiny bit of Mike's collection. So, Mike, the big question is, are you a collector or a hoarder? Oh, <laughs> probably a little bit of both. A little bit of both. I, I hoard Charlie's Angels. That's what I do. Okay. In the box. Mint, please. Okay, very good. Uh, a lot of this stuff I remember from my childhood is one piece on this table worth more than anything else, do you think, to the collector? To the collector. Some of the European stuff is, um, such as the German uh, van here and, and some of the European uh, uh, books that from like Greece and Brazil. But, um, you know, everything is, I mean, it, it's 40 years old, so everything's worth something. And this was the beginning of what they called Jiggle TV when we were kids, right? So I remember all of that. I remember watching it when it went on. I remember the sensation it caused. What I love is that somehow through these 40 years, you have stayed in contact once you worked with Farrah with all of the angels. And that includes Shelley Hack and Tanya Roberts and Cheryl Ladd. Yeah, I mean, it had a lot to do because I, I created a newsletter in uh, 95 and then I started charliesangels.com in 96. <laughs> so I, I dominated the world of uh, the internet with charliesangels.com and I, then I wrote two books and then I was Farrah Fawcett's assistant and I worked with Cheryl Ladd and I worked with Tanya Roberts. So um, some would say I start collecting the actresses, but uh, they're just really great people and I, I'm blessed to be with a friend of theirs. Is it, there a reason that it was Charlie's Angels for you and not the Beverly Hillbillies or Canon for you know lack of a better show to think of? <laughs> well I think a lot of it as, as a kid they made all these toys for us kids so I mean and yes there were Star Wars but you know Charlie's Angels the glamour the beauty and plus the accessibility of being on TV every week on ABC I mean it was amazing and uh, who, was, who didn't have their favorite angel? Who didn't want to play Charlie's Angels? Because they always got in jeopardies and they always had great cases. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And they you know, had Farrah and had Cheryl. And, and it had John Forsyth as the voice of Charlie. Did you ever get to meet him? I did meet him during the first movie uh, premiere and he had the best, the best job in TV. He worked like four days a month and, and made so much money. <laughs> Just doing a voiceover. Uh, why do you think that Charlie's Angels has lasted the test of time and that they rebooted it and they put it back on television? Why do we still want some Charlie's Angels in our lives? Well, I think because it's it, it has a great message for women. It's it's empowering. Of course, it's you know has a lot of great things for men. You know, beautiful women. But it it was it was the first television series on TV that had women in lead roles and they were number one. I mean, they were number one for three years and uh, they were doing a job not only on TV, what men would do, but in television, they were dominating TV, so it was great. Before we run out of time, I want one word to describe each actress that you worked with. We'll start with Farah. One word. Angel. Okay, Kate Jackson. Smart. Jacqueline Smith. Beautiful. Cheryl Ladd. My favorite. Tanya Roberts. She's a hoot. And <laughs> Shelly Hack. The classy one. Wow. You really know your angels. And by the way, you guys, he has about a hundred Charlie's Angels t-shirts. Says he rarely wears them because he's a collector and a lot of them are still perhaps in the plastic. Yeah, maybe I can't fit into them. Sometimes <laughs> they're small and <laughs> you never know. All right. Mike Pingle, thanks for joining us here on Eyewitness News at 3 o'clock. Appreciate Thank you you're bringing Thank this you collection. Us. Get it all back into storage Amazing. because it's worth depending on... Uh, who wants it? A whole lot of money. I won't even put a dollar figure on it, but it is six figures worth of Charlie's Angels memorabilia. At least six dollars. Yes. At least six dollars. <laughs> okay. okay. That's it from here. I'm going to just look at this Fine. before I get back to work. All right. Thank Bask you. in the Angels. George, well, he's Charlie, favorite, by the way. Do you have a favorite angel? Well, Farrah Fawcett. Uh, I, really? I probably yeah. liked Farrah when I was a kid. Oh, you're talking to George. Yeah. Oh, we can go we'll George to and too, George. I had yeah. a whole wall of Farrah Fawcett posters well, in college. Okay. What are you talking about? We'll be right back.